top card. It's just like, after you win this first. Now I sound like a broken record. But if you don't have this, nothing else is going to work. You have, to, you have to have this first. I punch the way over. As soon as I feel that, I find this way. A lot of you guys are trying to push with your hand. Right? That's not as good as put a stick over my hip. See? Right, what I want is this. Right? My forearm and my little claw hold this leg. My elbow is in the way and the stick is in my hip. You cannot put a foot on my hip if my arm is in the way. I don't have to be stronger than him, I just got to be in his way. Now I push it to the ground. Now look, I pull this back a little bit as I feed it. So the crook of my ankle picks the leg. Like, it just doesn't hurt him. It's not my shin digging into his butt. Right? And because of that, it's trapped. But if I mess this part up and I just pass it, he's going to walk half guard. Right? He's going to have this leg stuck, left behind. Okay, which isn't so good for me. But, in the heat of a fight, that might happen. Slippery or whatever. Okay, so as soon as I feel him catch this leg, right, I'm going to just collapse on him. Now, he's got this leg, so I can't get all the way to the side of the mount. That's fine. First step is I want his back on the ground. Right, so I'm just going to immediately fall. Right, if I can fall with this underhook, that'd be the best thing. Having this underhook makes it way harder for him to turn into me and do anything he wants in half. My other hand is underneath his head, palm up. I'm going to take my four fingers and find his neck. Like this. Excuse I'm me. doing this oh. mostly so I know my shoulder's in the right place. I want my shoulder to be right on his jaw or neck, not up on his head. And now, I'm going to pull up on this shoulder as I drive and try and put his chin over here. Draw and twist. Get the spread. Now, he knows that his escape is turning into me. With his head looking that way, he cannot turn into me anymore. <laughs> so look, I get half guard, my leg's stuck. He can hold my leg as tight as he wants. As long as he's committed to holding my leg, I will commit to making him miserable. When he opens, now I come back. I'm not in a rush though. It doesn't take anything for me to make him suffer. Though. So I'll hold it for the duration of the fight if he's willing to take it out. Right, I'm not going to do anything else because from there I can't be sweat. Right, he can do nothing except realize that he should probably open his guard and let me get an outfall in that way. Can I win the underhook? Hand under the head. I'm you know, being heavy. So he's on his back. My four fingers are on the neck, shoulder right in the jaw. Or even lower to the neck. I'm going to pull with my hand and turn my shoulder. My upper body should be shoulder on top of shoulder. So that all my weight is down on top of here. This part, this group of the legs open right away. Nobody likes that pressure. It's going to really suck. Making it easy to take your leg out. Now look, if he has the underhook from here, right, I can do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to grip his tricep and pull up on it. And push pull. Drive and pull. His underhook is became my little weapon. He can. I'm out. Especially if the guy is a little bigger than you or stronger, you're going to have way more success controlling his chin than any other part of his body. Sure. Try and put all your pressures right on the jump. You want to see one for someone else? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> so look, I tried my path. I was lazy. But however it happened, I'm a hack. I don't want to allow him to be on his side like this. This is not so good for me. I'm going to always try and win my underwear. I can just chest on the chest, flatten him out. Once he's down, underneath the head, palm up. Four fingers find the neck. I pull it in and find the shoulder. Now I use my shoulder and turn his head this way. So all my weight is now on my shoulder. You can't move. Take my time to mouth, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if it doesn't feel like an extreme amount of pressure, you're not doing it right. So call me over there and we'll fix it. I want everyone to make sure they have this down. It's important. Okay? Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Are you lazy?